and to be fair to them because not all they still they still alhamdulillah alhamdulillah there's still a lot of god-fearing sisters who still have modesty and haya we ask allah to protect them and to increase them but we know generally now what's happening and it's starting to flourish what's happening what does the sister want honestly do we want the brother that's trying to change he's trying to live a simple life yeah he's not the richest guy in the world he's trying to bring deen to his life you know he spends most of his time trying to work for the deen and work for the ummah who wants to marry that bloke man uh, everyone wants a what that's, no that's not fair actually, don't. don't honestly astaghfirullah wallahi that's not good at all no, no, it's not an example, Akhi. That's not right. You know? Because he's a Muslim. We need to protect our brother even if he does wrong, you know? So who do we want? Who do we want? Of course we want, brother. I want the brother that's got an... You know, Wallahi, because... It's not because the sister's evil, you know? Because, because we've been brought up. Because we've glamorized this life. She wants the bad boy that can get her a Burberry bag and he can buy her a coach this and he can buy her this. And that's, and, and wallahi, and that's what we want. Wallahi, my sister, do you think these women are happy? Wallahi, I know of a particular sister. She's the envy of every woman in her circle. She's the envy of every woman. Car, you look at in magazines. Clothes, only wallahi, only celebrities wear. Handbags and shoes, there's a new one every week. But when she calls me and her husband's cheating on her and she knows it and she can't do anything about it or her husband goes out with the boys for two three days and doesn't come home for two three days yeah the image on the outside is very nice and pretty man but what's on the inside what's on the inside if that's the measuring stick if dunya my brothers my sisters if 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 the value of your husband if the quality of your husband is based on the, the you know on the dunya that he gave you then your beloved prophet was the worst of husbands to his wives am i even allowed to say that is that even allowed to say a'udhu billah was the prophet of allah the worst to his women he says the, the best of you are those that are best to the women and i'm the best to my women what dunya did he give her, my sister? What dunya? Aisha says in the authentic narration when she was speaking to her nephew Urwa. She says, Wallahi, a full moon. We would see the full moon, then the full moon, then the full moon. Two complete months used to pass us by. Two complete months used to pass us by. And she said there would be, she said not a single flame, not a single flame was lit. Yani no cooking and no boiling in any of the nine houses of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, sisters always told me, you know, I wish I could marry the Prophet. Sister, please, 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 for the sake of Allah, please sit down, man. Sahurwa so says, he says, oh my auntie, two months, how did you people survive? She said to him, Al Aswadan, Al Tamru Al Wa'am, Al Tamru Al Ma. She said, We survived of dates and water for two months. And then one time there was some sort of dispute. One time, you know, his women came together and they asked the Prophet of Allah, no, do you think maybe you can increase in our dunya? The Prophet of Allah, one time he seen Aisha radiallahu anha, he seen her eating twice in one day. Twice in one day. What was she eating? Bali bread and he said to Aisha, I see that you have nothing to do all day but eat. Today there's dramas. Brother, it's been three weeks and my husband hasn't taken me to a restaurant. He said to Aisha, I see that you have nothing to do but eat. So one time, Quran, one time, the wives came together and they said, look, yani, we're not asking for palaces. But just, yani, maybe if you can increase the living standard a little bit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals Quran. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says to the Prophet of Allah, tell them, tell them, tell your wives that if it's this life that they seek, if it's the luxuries of this world that they seek, then tell them to come. We will give them their rights. You will divorce them in an honorable manner. They can go and seek their wealth. But if it is Allah and the Akhirah that they seek, then tell them more or less, tell them that this is the path. Allah, my brothers, I can talk all night, you know. But the sisters, Allah, even, you know, you know, you know, now, you know, I just came back from Umrah, yeah? Just came back from Umrah recently. You know, it, it's, it's, even our deen, even that which is supposed to be beautiful and pure, we inject it with dunya, you know. Have you seen this trend now? Sisters wearing Burberry scarves over their hijabs and over their niqabs and over their... And look, it's not haram, let's be fair. Clearly, it's not haram. So... But you just, you just think, the way you're going, bro? Where, where, where's... 